We had achieved a milestone of marriage equality in Massachusetts. In the middle of all the teary-eyed vow taking, the kissing, the blushing brides and grooms and wedding bliss, when Dean Hera and Gary Studd said their I do's, there was also the protesting presence of DOMA. I knew that our marriage was still going to be treated differently. In 1996, then Congressman Gary Stubbs argued against the Defense of Marriage Act. His partner Hera was watching from the visitors gallery as it eventually passed. It's emotional. But then even more emotion after Stubbs died in 2006. The very law he once fought against eventually stopped his widow from receiving his legal husband's congressional pension and social security. The same thing that the surviving spouse of any federal employee, in this instance, a retired member of Congress would get. That it's simply wrong. Because of the DOMA Act, more than 10,000 other couples in Massachusetts, 18,000 in California, and hundreds more in Connecticut now face federal inequities in taxes with income and estate tax, in retirement earnings with Social Security and pension benefits, and in spousal citizenship rights. A new study now also says marital status is a factor in at least 1,138 additional federal laws. There isn't any possible justification. The gay and lesbian advocates and defenders have now filed suit, for the first time mounting a major challenge to DOMA in federal court. We were denied. Eight married couples it's and three surviving spouses, who have all been denied something, are all now as plaintiffs asking the court for justice. The federal government said he was not my spouse. And they're asking along with Dean Hera. His political will to fight for what he believes in, the one benefit gained from his marriage to a federal employee that has not been and denied him. We need to stand up for what we believe in and what we believe is right.